Hi, I'm Sia, the Skin Philosopher. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want you to put your products to the test. Go and get your products and I want you to check if your products in the ingredients listing has any of these four nasties. The first one is a very common one called ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is a very cheap, nasty, unstable form of vitamin C. It's put into a lot of skincare products. It's not very stable and it oxidizes very quickly. It also causes the skin to spit and purge. The skin does not like that form of vitamin C. Second ingredient is retinal palmitate or retinal acetate. These are forms of vitamin A that again are very cheap, don't have a lot of activity and are generally put into a product for more of their preservative ability rather than their regenerative ability. Third one, phenoxyethanol. This is very common and I would be very surprised if it wasn't in any of your skincare products. It's what they consider to be a natural preservative. Well, it's not, it's a chemical preservative. It is actually a derivative of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a chemical used to preserve dead bodies. So that is not a natural preservative that you would want in your skincare product. And the fourth one, another common one, which is in a lot of products that are quite aggressive in exfoliation, would be glycolic acid. Glycolic acid, again, is very nasty, very aggressive. It's very cheap as well and it causes an irritation to the skin. We have no cell receptors for glycolic acid. It can only damage the skin. When we use acids in the skin, and there are a few that are good, we want to choose an acid like a lactic acid. And the reason for that is we produce lactic acid, therefore our cells can recognize it. Glycolic acid, not so much. So put your products to the test, get them out, have a look for those four ingredients, ascorbic acid, retinal palmitate or retinal acetate, phenoxyethanol, and glycolic acid. If your products contain any of those, personally, I would be putting them in the bin. Hope this information has been useful for you today, and if you do have any questions or concerns regarding these ingredients, please feel free to comment below. Thank you.